Alright then gang, so in this video I'd like to show you how to use avatars in Material UI and we're going to place an avatar up here in the app bar but also later on add an avatar in each one of these cards as well. Let's start with the app bar. So, dead simple, in layout all we need to do first of all is import the avatar components. So, do that first of all and then down here we're going to place the avatar just to the right of this. So, let's say avatar like so and this can be self closing so let's close that off now all we need to do is give this a source and that's going to be equal to a path to any kind of public asset now we don't have an image in here that I want to use at the minute but I'm just going to drag one in and you can find this on the repo by the way just a picture of Mario and then we're just going to reference that now it's called mario-av.png so I can just say forward slash mario hyphen av.png and now if we save this and come over here we should see that avatar on the right awesome looking pretty good but I do want to add a little bit of margin or padding or something to the left so let me add a class to this so we can just add that class name is equal to and then classes dot avatar okay so let's make that class up here avatar and all we need to do is say margin left and we'll use the theme here so theme dot spacing and that's a function and we'll pass in two so that's two times the base spacing which is eight pixels so 16 in total and that looks a bit better all right cool so that's the avatar up here but i also want to add an avatar to each one of these cards right here and that avatar is basically going to be color coordinated and also contain a letter which matches the first letter of the category for example for any to do's it might be a purple avatar with a capital t in it for any work cards it might be a yellow avatar with a capital w inside it so at first glance it's easy to see the category so to do this i'm going to head on over to the note card component okay then so in our card remember we have a card header and this is where we add the avatar so i'm just going to do this at the top as a prop and we say avatar like so and we set it equal to something now this is going to be equal to an avatar component so let me just say avatar like so i'm going to click on this to auto import it at the top you can see it's importing it now and this time it's going to have an opening and closing tag because we're going to use a letter in the middle of it like w or t for to do's or something like that we're not using an image as the source this time okay so how do we get the letter well remember we have access to the notes for this particular card so all i need to do is say in here notes and then we're going to say dot category to get the category and we want the first letter so array notation and zero that gets us the first letter in the category string and then we want to turn it to uppercase so two upper case like so and that's all there is to it so now if we take a look at this we should have an avatar with the letter of the category so that works that's pretty cool however i also want to color coordinate these now to do that we have to pass in the note to use styles because we're going to dynamically give this thing a different background color so first of all let me give this a class name so class name is equal to classes dot avatar like so and we'll make that class up here in fact we'll just change this to avatar like this because we don't need the test class anymore we'll get rid of it right there and instead of having a border we are now going to have a background color so background color like so and remember we need to evaluate the category on the note so this is going to be a function much like we saw before when we need a dynamic value and this is going to return a value based on the category of the note so let's do an evaluation of that first of all we'll say if notes.category is equal to work for example then we'll return a color it's going to be from the material ui color palette so i'm just going to click on this to import that right here so it's going to be yellow and it's going to be of strength 700 this is the shade of yellow okay now let's copy this so we can check for the other categories as well i'm going to do it two more times and this time we'll check for money and if that's the case it's not going to be yellow it's going to be green 
So let me import that as well, so green. And this time the strength is gonna be 500. So let me change 700 right here to 500. Now the third one is gonna to be to do's, that's the other category. And instead of yellow, it's gonna be pink. Let me click that to auto import it. Again, strength 50, uh, 500. And then finally, we'll just say return blue 500. By the way, let me just delete that and import it again by clicking this blue 500. All right, so the reason we don't do an if check for the last one is if it's none of these to-dos, it must be the other to-do, which is reminders. And if that's the case, we'll just color it blue. So we don't need to do a check for that fourth one. So if I save this now, we should see all of those color coordinated because the class over here is this thing. We pass in the note and dependent on the category of the note, it's getting a different background color each time. So yep looks good so the one we're missing out on is money so let's create a note and i'm going to say pay the milkman and then blah 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 and we'll change this to money submit it and now we can see this one is green awesome so as far as Material UI is concerned, that's the project pretty much done. But there's one more thing I want to show you in the next lesson, and that's how to create a masonry grid style system instead of this grid system, because you can see all of this vertical space right here. It would be nice if they jump up. And to do that, we'll be using another third party package.